Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another night of One Life, One Death. So, last night we were hunted by the Vigilant of Stindar, and I did manage to take out both of them thanks to careful planning on my part, and I did get all their loot, and most importantly, I did receive the Vigilant's Greatsword, probably the best item from that boat there. And that was basically last night, in a nutshell. Other than that, I did go get some ore, some gold ore, but I did not have the perk necessary to you smelt that gold ore into gold ingots, unfortunately. So tonight, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going, getting our thirst sorted, because we're at stage three, overwhelming thirst. And I think in order to do that, what we're going to do is go to White Run and get some easy blood. I think it's time. I think I've I've deserve I deserve some easy blood tonight. And then we're going to go to the Valheim Towers and take out some bandits. You know, level up our character that way, do some marksmanship, that sort of thing. And I think that will be the plan for today. And the overarching goal for this character, I feel is going to be working on smithing because, again, I would like to get into blood elixirs, but I need to get my smithing up and running in order to do so. And I think I did also level up here. Yes, I did. Increase my health. And, yeah, I'm only at 17 smithing. But I'm going to go for combat training for heavy armor just to get my power attacks going and get my armor weight penalties reduced. And now we're gonna do some washing up here cause I'm quite dirty, quite dirty indeed. Going to pick up those dragonflies and just check out. Da -da 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 -da. Hanging moss. Start wing, okay. Alright, so now we're just going to head to Whiterun. I don't suspect any combat between here and there, so I'm just going to speed up the footage, and I'll see you in a bit there. Oh, shite! Just as I say that, there's a bear right there. Should I take out the bear? I think I can afford to take out the bear. Oh, he's he's right on me. Okay, I need to... Need to speed. Speed. Need to be... A did I get him? Okay, I got him. He got knocked down. Oh gosh, I'm sneezing. My apologies. Okay. Okay, gonna charge attack. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Okay, there you go. That was pretty easy. Uh, should I consider skinning him? Do I have the skinning tool? I do not. Should I bother? I don't think I should. I just sort of did that to level up my two hand. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Though, I could use that to maybe mass produce. Uh, nah, nope, I'm not going to do it. Because that will speed up the time. And we got other things to do today. Gotta get uh, my blood going. And gonna go attack some bandits. So we'll see you in a second here. Alright, so we're inside Whiterun. And none of the guards have attacked me as of yet. Because I am at stage 3. So I'm invisible to them as a vampire. So let's just head into the guardhouse right away. Or the guard barracks, I should say. My apologies. It's kind of strange how they just let you... Oh, I'm doing that again. Third time's the charm. It's kind of strange how they just let you wander in without actually asking why you're in the guard barracks. Anywho. So these guys are sleeping. It's very easy to get your feet on when you go to feed on the local guards. And they can't even see you. It's almost, mm, it's a kind of che cheesy, 
I mean, is it though? I mean, they allow you to walk in. They got their beds right there. They're kind of asking for it, really. And we're going to feed on you. Actually, before we do that, he has a silver longsword. Let me check my... Okay, I'm at stage two, longing for blood. So one more feed, and that should do it. Not quite at full HP, but... That's what those bandits are going to do. They're gonna fill me right up with their blood. But, uh, hmm. Well, now because I'm here... I gotta think about what to do for the future. I th hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely going to move all my gear into the white run sewers at some point just so i can have access because i do know that farangar does have an alchemy table and an enchanter so i should be able to have access to his stuff which will allow me to get into the enchanting not sorry not enchanting alchemy properly this guy oh it's the it's the Khajiit caravan coming in with their goodies about to set up camp I'm presuming so where are we here so the Valheim I pronounce that right oops pressing E by mistake so the Valheim towers are on the way so I don't suspect any real combat between here and there so I'm going to speed up the footage once again, and when we do get back, we'll be fighting some bandits. So I'll see you in a sec. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the Valheim Towers. As you can see, I think there's a bandit, or maybe not. I don't see any bandits. Yeah, I'm not seeing any bandits, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my vantage point up there, and going to just start sniping from down there. So I'm going to bring Midnight up with me, because this is probably the best way to take out these bandits, really, I would think. You get a nice little crossbow, and you just start sniping from the top down. It's the safest way, I think. Oh, that something's on fire. Oh, it's just up there, that bond, that bonfire. I was a little bit frightened there. I thought it was... Um, mage ready to cast his fire spell thought this would this would be it okay so let's get our gear sort of sorted here i got bolts yeah i got my iron heavy crossbow that should be okay yeah i should be able to pull this off quite easily hopefully get some good blood out of this is that i think that's the guy right there Yep, got him. Good, good, good. Oh, where's Midnight going? Midnight? Midnight, where are you, where are you going? Hello? H hello? That was a little... A little bit spooky. I didn't really want Midnight to leave. Get all ex... Okay, so that's level two wolf. I'm not too worried about you. I'm gonna tell you to wait here. I should consider getting into restoration just to like get that one perk for healing hands, not for myself, but for midnight. So that way, if midnight does get damaged, at least uh, she can heal over time thanks to the healing hands perk. Okay, so this guy's on patrol. I'm slotting around here. Oh. Oh, what was that? <laughs> just. There's just some anime moves he's got going on there. Ooh. 19. Oh, no. He's got a potion. I don't like that. We don't like potions around here. So he's 
probably going to come up and around, or at least attempt to. Presumably, by the time he gets up here, he'll, he will have uh, lost interest of me, so I'm not too worried, but I will keep an eye out just in case. He doesn't have a ranged weapon, so I don't feel too scared of him, really. Actually, maybe he would come up here. I'm feeling a little bit worried. Worried. Maybe he will come up here. Let's have a peek. Oh, he is coming up here. All right. Uh, all right. We can have a little bit of a duel. You won't get the best of me. Best? Huh? You prepared to die. All right. That wasn't so bad. Got the blood that I was looking for. Very good. And that should heal me up all the way. Or close to... No. Oh, there we go. I should take this so I can get into smelting. And then I can probably break this down. And this, I'll put this into um, midnight or inventory. So great having a horse. Highly recommend Go. Yep, looking good. So where's that other guy? Okay, so he's down there. He does have a bow. Okay, this guy needs to go first. He has a crossbow, and that's absolutely devastating against me. I'm kind of sliding around. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Just walk on over here. Oh, uh oh. Oh, oh no. Really? Oh dear. I'm stuck. Okay, okay. Don't be stuck. Just jump. 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 You can jump. I remember when Todd Howard said you can climb that mountain. Remember that? Remember when he said that? They're. God, you silly boy. There's no climbing in any of your games. Okay. Am I going to be able to make it? Maybe go this way? No, it's... The game is saying... Oh, oh! And he makes it perfect. <laughs> no falling to my death tonight. Maybe next night. We'll see. There's a guy up there, though. Oh, I'm still sliding around. Gosh darn it. Okay, so I might want to take out that guy. Or, actually this guy's just standing right there. There we go. Very nice little snipe right there. Full disclosure, uh, I've actually never done a full, like, archery playthrough in any of my Skyrim builds. Vanilla and Ultimate Skyrim. I've never actually done a stealth archer at all in Skyrim and yet here I am being being as such because like the most kind of the most safest way to play especially in Requiem where things can kill you relatively quickly it's pretty safe you know oh he's probably gonna potion himself now oh he's got a bow as well but he doesn't potion Okay, I didn't potion himself. That's good. So I'll let him come around. Okay, so there's three of them now. All looking for me. Yeah, this is probably the way you want to clear this area, I would think. Ooh. That didn't do... Uh, okay, that's fine. I'll take out the range guys first. He's That's just a melee guy. I'm not too worried about him. Ranged is more important. As far as order of operations is concerned. Okay, I think... Okay, I think that ranged guy must be coming over yonder now. 
think he's coming around the corner. And Midnight is exposed. Okay, I'm gonna have to move a little bit quick here just to move her out of the way. So I don't want her getting shot if I can help it. Not even sure why she keeps moving. I do tell her to wait. Okay, so there's that ranged guy right there. So he is going to be a threat. But he's behind the bush now. Don't wait for him to pop up. Oh, there he is. There we go. But there is still a search party, looks like, coming after me. Or that could be the wolf as well. Did I go down there? Or should I wait? And see who comes on this rock and see who comes up the road here, if any. Nope, looking okay. Oh, nope. Stand corrected. There's a guy with a crossbow. So I'm going to line him up a bit better here. There we go. Any more? Okay, somebody spotted me. Nope, that's just him rolling down. All right, let's uh, get down there a bit more. Let's see, where is that one corpse? Where is he? Where is he? The downside of fighting guys on the hill, they end up sliding around, unfortunately. Oh, there he is. Uh, should I save that blood? I think I will. I can break this down into, like, kindling. I'll take those arrows, though. I'll save the blood, take the fur. Take that. Mm, do I need it? Do I need it? I don't... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe not. I will place you on this rock just so you're visible. I do want to fight up here. At least you got blood for me available. Now, where did your friend slide off to? You know what? I'm not going to go after that guy. I don't really want to expose myself just yet. I might even drag this body up. Because I'd rather fight up there, where the line of sight is more in my favor. If I fight over here in this area, then obviously they can shoot me from all kinds of directions. So if I can close that line of sight as much as possible, like having them force themselves to come up here, I can close the distance that much quicker in melee. So yeah, I think that's the strategy. In case it does get to that point, it might not. So where I'm, where am I gonna put you? I think I'm gonna put you right here. I think that's gonna be nice and available where I can see you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good spot. All right, so let's get back to the sniping. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's looking like sniping may be over and done with. I don't really see anybody now. Oh, never mind. Speak of the devil. This guy right there. Hopefully the, the mesh doesn't get in my way. Alright, perfect. Okay, so he's coming up now. I got a good snipe off from up here. Not really. So he is going to just rush up here now. So now I got to get ready. I think I will use my two hand here just to balance it out a bit. So I'm just not leveling up my marksmanship constantly. 
Let's just get up on this rock just to see when he's coming. Should be any second now. Should be coming around that corner. Yep, there you go. So we're going to get ready for him. Yeah, the Vigilant Greatsword permanently enchanted. So you don't have to worry about uh, regenerating it with uh, soul soul stones. Sorry, soul stones. Hey, oh, there we go. That was pretty easy. He made a mistake there with the power attack. What was he going to say? Not soul stones. Uh, soul gems. There you go. Oh, no, don't slide. <laughs> I grabbed him just in time. Okay, come up. Come up now. Oh, God, he's stuck. Can I let go? Okay, he's like... Ex oh my god, he's like sitting perfectly. Alright, actually you can stay right there. That's a perfect spot for you. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. That little... Blurb or whatever would denote... A frost mage was here earlier. That's what it looks like. Because that's like the sort of explosion, sort of, um, how can you put it, the, the explosion graphic of, I believe, Frostbite. So, a wizard was probably up here earlier, it looks like. But, obviously, has flown the coop. Alright, so, I see one guy over yonder over there, one guy on the bridge, and looks like two guys on that tower over there now how do i want to handle this do i want to expose myself if i do that i definitely want to throw the blood down there so i'll have to grab him throw him down grab that guy throw him down that way if i do get into an altercation which is very likely because they'll all make a beeline towards me Probably not a, the overall smartest approach if I were to do this smartly. Sniping them from way over here would probably be, be the safest option. Hmm. Just wondering. Yeah, I think I can put my make myself a little bit more exposed. Yeah, let's do it. So I'm gonna grab the blood. And give him the old heave-ho. Okay, that wasn't very good heave-ho. Give him the old heave-ho. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay, now for the other guy. And I do think there's one other blood somewhere I remember yeah I think the other range guy that I took out earlier but he like fell okay heave ho down you go hopefully he doesn't get caught up on any rocks okay he looks okay okay I think that's the guy down there you can't really tell Dang. Oh, no, that was him. All right, perfect. I think you do have blood as well. Yep, perfect. I'll take your bolts as well. Thank you very nice. <laughs> Thank you very nice. Thank you very much. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm gonna just drag you over. This is basically what Requiem is. A lot of prep work. Because you want to maximize the chance of your survival and as a vampire this is pretty much it you if you don't have blood elixirs you drag the blood with you to like your combat area that you know you're going to be uh, struggling in just so you have uh, healing available as you fight i could maybe space out the blood yeah I think I'll... 
I think I will uh, leave some spacing. That way I can have a place to like retreat to if I need it. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Yeah, okay, so one, two, three. Okay, I think that's pretty good for spacing. Yeah, all right. And I also have the blood here, let's not forget. Let's just drag it out of the dark. It is really dark in that corner, my goodness. Is this another... Let's see, is this the same guy? I think it is. I will take your bolts, however, thank you very much. Okay, so I got one, two, and then... Three more. One, two, three. Okay, so five bloods. Let's gonna space you out more. I'm only doing this because I want fallback positions. Hmm. Thinking if there's a better way to do this. No, I think that's. I think that's pretty good. So fight over here, take some damage, take the blood, fight to the, uh, go to the next blood, fight over there, take some damage, take the blood. Okay, that's good. I think that'll work. Now I want to avoid conflict because I still want to open up. Oh, wait, can I not go to the top? Okay, I can, I can. Oh, hello, hello, sir. Oh, no, I'm nobody. No. It's gonna come around the corner, I guarantee it. Any second now, he's gonna do it. Maybe I should just stand up. That was really slow. Okay, I'm just tanking these hits now. Okay, light attack, light attack. There we go, before he recovers. Okay, that was actually not bad. Let's check out our health. Yeah, I'm going to take one blood just to heal up to full. Oh, there's silver, I'll take that. Steel. Careful not to grab the blood. That would be no good. Okay, so it looks like there is one or maybe two more guys over yonder there. And then we have maybe three more hours. Ooh, remarkable. Not super late of though, unfortunately. Yeah, really nothing here. But I did want to come up here just for the vantage point, because I think that would work quite nicely, especially against that guy up there, which is, I'm assuming, the leader of the area. So I'd like to get some shots off on him before uh, real combat starts. Actually, there's one guy over there, too. It looks like three guys. So how am I going to pull this off? Um... Well, I don't think I have enough to one-shot kill. I do have a poison. I do have one poison of lingering, which is 300. So, 
I think if I were to use that poison, I'd want to use him on the, like, the bandit boss. I don't think he has 300 HP. And it, or if he does, he'll probably heal, which would be good. Because I want him to use up his health potions anyway. And then I can deal with his underlings. I think either there's one, one guy or two guys over there. I can't really tell. It's too dark. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that, the poison on him. Da, 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 da. Equip that. I'm going to open up. Am I poisoned? Yep, okay. Crouch. I'm going to open up on him. Okay, get, get it. Perfect. Oh, I missed. Oh my gosh. There's... Okay. There's like five guys down there. Five guys up there, I should say. And we got to retreat. That is too much volume for me. We got to go now. And I somehow missed. Like, it just whizzed over his head ever so slightly. Got to leave. Got to fall back. Too much volume. There's like one, two, three, four, plus the two guys out there. So six. Six guys all barreling towards you? I don't think so. Yeah. Shit. That sucked. Just went a little bit too high on that. Damn it. God, that's going to cause some problems for sure. Okay, so... Next strategy, I take out the underlings. And then, yeah, that will have to be the stratagem. So come up here. Thing is, what I don't like about this is I probably shouldn't even be up here because if I have to retreat, I have to expose myself to their incoming fire if they do have bows and arrows and stuff of that nature. Which there's a very high chance that they do. So this actually isn't a very good vantage to be in. The best vantage would be actually out here. That way, if, when they do come around, I have a place to fall back and retreat to down the road and up the mountain, that sort of thing. I don't have to expose myself as much. Or maybe get down there would be a better strategy, because there's more cover in the way. I think I'll do that. I think I will. But then I'll have to move the items around, the blood, and there's looks like fire off in the distance. Who knows what that's about? I think I should be okay. I shouldn't worry so much. That's what people say. Don't worry so much. Stop worrying. Everything will be okay. Like, alright, well, it's easy for you to say when you're not the one that has to deal with it. Anyways, enough said with that. Okay, so what am I going to deal with? Order of operations. Probably his underling. I don't think they'll sort of, um, yeah, I think, I think it should be okay. I'm over explaining things. Let's just take him out. Okay, knew that was going to happen. Is this guy moving around now? Nope. So he's going to come out. That guy's going to stay. Is that the guy that I shot? Okay, oops. Oh, shit. There's two of them. Okay. Damn it. Oh, they, okay, I'm spotted. Is there a way to retreat? Well, there's that parapet right there. I'm going to go on that parapet. The end for you. Okay. Yeah, this, this is the cheese zone right here. See, I knew coming up here was a mistake. Oh, and he had fireballs. Okay, great. He had a fireball. 
I thought he had, I thought that was a torch he was holding. I didn't even realize he was a wizard. Okay, great. So I'm at half HP. I need to get the frick out of here. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna snipe you. Okay. Good job, Skyrim Mesh. Very good. Oh. I'm scared. Because they're down there, and there's a guy over there waiting for my head to pop out, and there's no real way to, for me to escape. God, I need to think now. Okay, so no sense in jumping back up there. That exposes me. If I jump down, I'm probably going to get hit. There's a a good possibility. But looks like they left. Okay, never mind. They're still there. Can I see? Okay, looks like the buddy has left. Okay, so my other option of escape here is going on the bridge and then jumping into the water and then skirting down down there because there's like six six of them here plus the leader God, what, what do i do and that sounds like a fire wizard oh what the frick what's going on what the hell is going on down there Oh, there's a huge fight happening. What's going on down there? There we go. Yes. Oh, but knew that was going to happen. There's a huge fight. Damn it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have to jump. I'm going to have to jump. I'm going to have to jump. Uh, please be deep. Uh, okay. Oh, there's blood. Give me the blood. Oh, you don't have blood. Okay, get the frick out of the water. Cover, 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 cover. Okay, okay, okay. This may not be smart. This may not be smart. Okay, I've, uh, I've made it. Oh, that was close. That was rightfully close. Don't know what was going on over there with them fighting each other. Okay, well... Luckily, I did keep some blood on spare for such an occasion. So now we can sort of do this again, but properly this time. Okay, gotta go a long way around. It's gonna make me do it. All right, let's just uh, head back up there. So I'll uh, see you in a second as I speed up this footage. All right, so here we are back up at Valheim Tower. Having just experienced a little bit of a kerfuffle, uh, at least as among the bandits and being trapped up the tower, that probably wasn't the smartest play. Okay, so they're still there. I just saw them. Damn it. That's where the blood is. Oh, I should have set this up properly. So it looks like there's a body right there. God, there must have been a quite the disagreement. Bloodthirsty bandits. Like, who do who gets the loot? I get the loot. Okay. Or maybe... Is that somebody else? Is that like an ally or a friend? Oh, gosh. 
so many uncertainties right now, I don't know. How do I... I need a better vantage point. Hopefully I can sneak and not lure anything crazy. Just let me climb up here, Skyrim, come on. See, I can get up here in real life. Where is the climb mountains mechanic? Hello? There was a guy, where did he go? Okay, well, can I continue climbing up here? No, not really. Well, maybe I can. That would be the safest route at this point. Hopefully I can uh, scurry on up here. Isn't there a mod that allows you to climb mountains? There should be. <laughs> but like, you, you you need to do like animations in order to do it. Like, you you climb the mountain, press E, and then you have to like actually climb it vertically. And maybe you have to do a mini game every once in a while to make sure your grip is pretty solid. Otherwise, you fall off the cliff. Anyways, just me and my shower thoughts, as it were. Not that I'm playing in a shower, mind you. That would be impossible. Okay. It's gonna stay away. I'm gonna have to end this pretty quick, though. It is 3 p.m. Or a.m. What am I talking about? Get that blood and uh, start afresh. Did I get the blood over there? Yeah, I'm gonna get the blood over here. The downside of having the bandits attack each other is... I lose out on the blood. Wow, there must have been quite the kerfuffle. Scuffle. Look at this. Madness. Wow. Wow. I'll get that blood. Thank you. Did I get one more blood? I should. Yeah. That will bring it all the way up to full, or close to it. Okay, well that helped out quite a bit, so that took out like three. There's one guy here. There's one guy over there. I should probably snipe him from here, that's probably the smartest route at this juncture. That way, I do have a place to retreat to, unlike before, where it's on top of the tower. There we go. There we go. Smart. Give it smart this time. Hmm. What well, would be kind of sneaky for them if some of them were, like, hanging out down here and waiting for me? Nope. Okay, one, two, three. So there's three guys. One's a two-hander. One's a uh, ranged. Got to take out the ranged guy. Okay, dang it, he's gonna heal up now. Yep, right on schedule. Or schedule, depending on how you... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna run away now. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so he's gonna... Hopefully not snipe me, because he's indoors now, the archer. Oh, I was wrong. He's... He spotted me. Oh, that one was close. Got a serpentine. Or a murder serpentine, always. And we're running a straight line. That's how you get killed in this game. Okay, so one, two. Saw two there. Okay, so I see this guy. Ah, just at the last second he turns around. I love that. Okay, good hit. I want to take out that ranged guy first. 
There we go. Ooh, and I dodged that arrow. Very nice. And now we can just go up against this guy. He looks quite scary, though. Let's be honest. He's going to wail on a shield a bit. Okay. Light attack. Light attack. Oh, don't do that. A little bit too far away. Okay. Another hit. Okay, time the power attack. Damn it. Damn it. That was bad. There we go. One, two. There we go. And I got the blood out of that. And he's got Dwarven Gauntlets as well. I'll have to come back for this, actually. I can take that shield right away, I think. That shield. So, <laughs> the Curus. Curus? Curus? Oh, no. I don't want to fight you right now. Oh, uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Yeah, it's a lot better as far as warmth and coverage is. Actually, this is better. But it doesn't look as nice. But it is does look like more vampire-esque. The orcish gear, I guess. I'll probably need to call down my horse at this point. There's my horse. Okay, I got one more hour. I'm not too worried because there is a cave nearby I can always hide in for the night. Though I'd rather uh, not deal with that. Deal with that cave if I can. Uh, da, 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 da. Take that orca shield for smelting. Take that sapphire. One of these days. One of these days I'll be smelting. Okay, let's get back on him. Is there a guy right there? Nope. And I still got the blood all the way down here, and I did kill that guy with the bow. Don't really want to check him out yet. I may have to loot these guys next night. I just want to kill them first. Uh, let's see. Use the horse just for the getaway. Set him up like that. So I'm gonna wait there. Okay. So I do think... How many people? One, two... There might be one more guy or two more guys left, I would think. And I don't think they're in here. Yeah, there's blood in here too. So, oh, and a scroll of summon spirit wolf. That will help out quite a bit. And I think that was the boss man from up there. He did have the gear for it. But I just want to double check to be sure. What was that? Oh. Okay, that sounded like a blade, not a bow. Yeah, okay. Damn it. Want to get, get her in the light so I can uh, see what's happening here. Okay, where are you? Come on. Don't have all day. You call yourself a Nord? Mm. Can't wait to count out your coin. Okay, so there's two people there. Oh, two-handed. Oh, okay, this person's got like... Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I do have blood. Are you, you got the blood? No, you don't got the blood. Get on the horse. Sprint away. Okay, so... Do I have one more blood? I don't have blood, I don't think. Okay, I do have one more blood. Okay, that should do it. I got full HP. Okay, I'm just dealing with this level 10 bandit right here. And wail on your shield a bit there, friendo. There we go. Oh, God. If her friend wasn't here, then it would be kind of okay. There. Oh. See, I would go after her if the friend wasn't here, but the friend is here, so now I have to... Oh, she's being very sneaky. Going on my flank and all that. She's uh, very, very smart AI. Ooh. And she moves very quickly. My goodness. Okay. I don't want to take out the weak one first. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay, got a good hit off there. He does very powerful, powerful attacks. Okay, she recovers very quickly. Okay, we're gonna be fighting forever. I need a. Okay. Frick, being a vampire is great and not so great at the same time, because I would continue the fight, but I have to go back <laughs> to... Ah, she moves too fast in her armor. Ah. Okay, that's all it really took. I have no time for you. I gotta kill you fast. I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's a pretty powerful battle staff. Uh, what do I want to take? Nothing, really. What do you've got? Anything worth taking? The septums, and that's about it. I'll have to come back another time. We're gonna have to skedaddle real quick. Otherwise, it's curtains. Hopefully, I can make it. Can I make it back home in time? Oh, I don't know. It's looking pretty tight. Oops, let's just... I want to see where I'm at on the map. I might have to go to Shimmer Mist Cave. Or failing that, I go to Dark Shade. Or the White River Watch. That's another option as well. This might be a little bit too far away. I'll have to make a beeline across the, the river. And it'll have to be absolutely perfect. I think I might have to go to White River Watch for the night. And then I'll have to loot... Valtheim. Got a, a, <laughs> Valheim. I, I got a, the pronunciation right. Valtheim. Tomorrow. I'll have to loot that tomorrow. I might have to go to White River Watch. Got the spelling absolutely wrong with Valf. What is it again? I keep on forgetting. Valfheim. Valfheim. Yeah, it's only 20 minutes left. I will have to go to White River Watch. I'll be make it though. There's a very good chance I'll make it. Uh, set up that trap and then have okay you're gonna stay like that perfect 
All right, so I'm indoors. I've made it. I survived uh, another night. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you want to watch videos like these and want to see other videos like them, please be sure to like and subscribe. If not, I understand. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.